So I see it is 4 o'clock, and I will call to order the Committee on City Services and the Northampton City Council. Um, today we have, actually, Laura, would you mind calling sure. it a roll? Councilor Nash. Here. Councilor Bidwell. Here. Councilor Carney. Present. Councilor Lamar. Present. Thank you. And I see no public comment, so I'll ask if there is a motion to accept the minutes of uh, August 15th. So moved. Moved Second. and seconded. Um, any additions, corrections, or otherwise? None. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, thank you. So we have a really <clears throat> brief meeting in terms of appointments, and mm -hmm. followed by maybe a short discussion about October 7th. So um, first, I don't, I do, let me pull up my correspondence from Eamon Edge. I did review the <clears throat> application for Eamon Crowley Edge, who is up for reappointment to the Arts Council for a term July 2019 to June 2022. I had a little difficulty reaching Eamon just because the application didn't have his email or phone contact. Um, I tried uh, Spokio, and then eventually I found him on Facebook. But nice. we did, we did, um, <clears throat> he did uh, write to me and say, quote, I am excited to be reappointed to the Arts Council. I enjoy the work and can see all around the impact that events in Pulaski Park, summer movies, funding area artist projects, and bringing art to the community has. I've seen a diverse mix of our community and attend and enjoy the arts as well as experience downtown and go to local businesses. Supporting the community and the arts is important and I view my service on the council as helping in some small part. Arts promote education, enjoyment, expression, and can help the younger members of Northampton learn about what is possible in the art career field. I'm looking forward to continuing and building on this service. So I, I actually thanked uh, Mr. Edge for his willingness to continue serving on the Arts Council. And um, I guess I would ask if there was someone who would offer a motion for a positive recommendation. I would move a positive recommendation to Arts Council for Edmund Crowley Edge. Second. Moved and seconded to send the name <coughs> Eamon Crowley Edge for reappointment to the Arts Council with a positive recommendation to the full City Council. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. And then I think, Councillor Bidwell, you took those next two, is that correct? Uh, yes. This is for Central Business Architecture Committee. Uh, I spoke with Melissa F Freeblow, I think she was. Um, she is really experienced as a construction manager, owner's project manager. Uh, as a matter of fact, she was very much involved in uh, the Nielsen Library redevelopment uh, for Smith. Now she's with a different firm where she's doing her own construction management, project management. In any event, she would be moving from an alternate member of the committee to a full member. And she has really enjoyed her time as an alternate, really looks forward to her time as a permanent member of the committee. And she uh, is very impressed with the work of the committee. That's where we continue. So I would uh, forward a motion to uh, make a positive recognition to Melissa Friedlow for Central Business Architecture Committee. Sir, moved and seconded. To send the name Melissa Fridio with a positive recommendation for reappointment to the Central Business Architecture Committee. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Very good, thank you. And then the second person who is up for that same committee is Bridget Goggins. I spoke with her last week. Uh, she is of the Goggins family. She's one of Pat Goggins' daughters and is back. She's recently moved back to Northampton to become involved in the family real estate business, but she has a great deal of professional and academic background in historic preservation and the arts. Um, and she has really enjoyed her time on this committee. It 
continuing. She's very impressed with new guidelines, new design guidelines that are coming forward. I guess we'll be working their way here to the council at some point. She thinks it's a huge improvement in terms of providing clarity to applicants so everybody knows exactly what they're looking for. But in any event, she's totally been a part of that process and uh, I'm glad to make a motion to reappoint or positive recommendation to reappoint Bridget Goggins to Central Business Architecture. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was moved and seconded to send the name Bridget Goggins with a positive recommendation for reappointment to Central Business Architecture. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Very good, thank you. And um, Councilor yes. Barge? Um, Richard Abrizzo, Housing Partnership. Um, I talked with Richard on the phone and we had a lovely talk. I've known him for a long time. And um, he emailed me um, a lot of things that we talked about. What Richard is saying that even though he's going in for a reappointment, he had, and he is providing new and maintaining our stock of existing affordable housing has always been a difficult challenge, and that's how he feels. The obstacles are even greater in this economic time. Added to that, Northampton has a strong housing market, which made providing new affordable housing even more challenging. In his three decades of service on the Northampton Housing Partnership since its inception, he is keenly aware of the comp complexity of this task. He believes that his insight and experience on the par partnership has meaningfully contributed to our progress in this important work of providing housing opportunities for people across a broad range of income levels. In addition to his experience as a general contractor and housing renovator, has been very useful and an asset to bring to the partnership's work. Also in his business experience as a professional property manager and provider of residential rental housing, gives him a really world insight into the realities of the many process at play, which also enhances our work and his work on the partnership. His experience in having run multiple retail businesses in our community also has given him a, new, a unique close connection and insight into the aspect of Northampton. These interrelated issues have bearing on the partnership's task, including our needs to have this housing work broadly supported throughout the entire community. And he continues to look for ways to serve this community we all cherish, and he hopes to continue his service on the housing partnership to further this important work. And I make a, re a positive recommend recommendation to full city council. Second. Okay, moved and seconded to send the name Richard Abuza with a positive recommendation for reappointment to the housing partnership. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. And finally? And finally me. Um, so uh, today I had the opportunity to talk to uh, Euripides uh, de Oliveira on the phone and um, that um, we had a, you know, we had a really interesting conversation. Uh, we avoided any current topics before the planning board, which is a good thing. Discussed a lot of past things. Uh, we talked about Sargent House, the Lumberyard, Valley CDC projects. And, um, you know, the thing that he's, um, the general comment that he's always working, that edge that he's always working, has to do with the conflict between um, uh, communities' rights against the private property owners' rights. And that's always what's in the balance, and that sometimes there's just a very thin line between the two. And for somebody on the planning board, I really appreciated that he was bringing that perspective in. Um, he sees himself as a pragmatist um, and, um, and likes to th see things get done. Um, and um, he's also a professor over at UMass, and he often advises his students to come to planning board to see you know it's one thing to talk about theory over there but to actually come to a planning board meeting and see how it actually plays out um, 
So anyway, I, I just found him, you know, very competent and just the sort of person that we would want on our planning board. And I'd like to send his name forward with a positive recommendation to the city council. Okay, I <clears throat> moved and seconded to send the name Euripides de Oliveira for reappointment to the planning board with a positive recommendation. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Wow, that's wow. quick, okay. <coughs> you give me one second, I think I forgot to put my parking placard right in right there. Oh, I think it's Why? You can count to 60 and I'll be Those right back. You're going to lengthen the meeting by about 30%. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my housing partnership? Maybe you could show this. I had to go out to take calories for dining as a week. Really? I hadn't either. She is. Why did you oh, she had a little hand. more longer to go than that? I knew Prime was very young, you know. I know. Well, she's put out there. Oh, when did you hear that? I never had a meeting this morning. Thank goodness Monique is at least in there because Cam just left. Wow. Monique's really new. Cam's still helping. Yeah. Her. Wow, that's a big loss. That's huge. It's a huge loss. It makes it all more important to have someone like Richard Abusa. He's been on the three decades. I think though, wow. oh, she's been here a long time. Richard. I've known her since I've been a city counselor. Yeah. When I started working in 1995 in the planning department, she was there as a the helping court. <laughs> was she <laughs> gonna go somewhere else? She, wow. She described it as retiring. She's younger than retirement age, but I think that that's 
You yeah, I'm going to be happy to invite myself, myself, but it's probably not up to I would just take yeah, you could just convey <laughs> Councilor yeah. Bidwell's comments to the mayor's okay. office. That'd be, that'd be great. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I'm going to miss it. Yeah, and is anyone else planning on that being around? On the 7th is the Monday. Yeah. yeah. So that means the holiday is the following Monday. That's mm -hmm. right. Oh, okay. 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 going to have to change their date. Mm -hmm. Wasn't Fran Volkman also for more too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. Talk yeah. Talk about yeah, Paul Specter and Fran Volkman. Yeah. So it's only been. Bill names Fran, you, and Paul since 19. And there was a young kid. And well, too. was there? Was there someone else? There was a very young. We were young going back before kid. my time. This picture is right up in one of those things from World War Two. Okay. At any rate, um, that is a great idea, idea to invite the other, but we won't be making any invitations from this committee because we're not actually. Right. Holding the event, it's yeah, exactly. Oh, and, 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 and if you're, if right. Laura, you'd be kind enough to pass that on to the mayor's Definitely. office. Might as well invite Karen Foster, who will be the next board two seconds. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. She she'll be the only one running in two. She's the only one running, so I, I like think her. it's fairly certain that she will be there. Yeah, and I'm sure that they're thinking in terms of all of those folks who are in city government. They probably are anyway. Just, but yeah. <coughs> at the time that. <clears throat> Council Nolan was serving. That was under Mary Ford, wow. and having, yeah, it was under Mary Ford because so I just, I just, it must have been under Mary Ford because oh. when Claire Higgins was elected mayor, Fran Volkman was also elected. So you managed to say, did they say When who was when, when um, Kevin Nolan was? Elected. I don't remember what year. I'm just well, thinking. This, it says he was elected in '85. Okay. Yeah. And he ran again in 87 and was defeated, tried again in 89 and was defeated. So I wonder if it was Bill Ames who beat him in 87. Do you think that yeah. timing would be Bill right? Ames was a city councilor well before then, I think. He's right here, Dennis. Check it out sometime. I will. What year is that photograph? Row on the end. What, what? Row, what year is that photograph? I don't see anything here. There's no year on it. Yeah. Okay. Well, my yeah, guess is anyway. that the people who are in yeah, that right. photograph you know, come from Nolan, probably be invited. But uh, yeah. again, so we're not really so in the loop in the party planning. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I saw. Yeah, I'm not really sure if it's Lynn in the mayor's office, but just Kevin Nolan himself. Yeah, we're together. not really sure who's doing it, it but um, it my impression was that there was going to be an invitation out to all of the city councilors. I saw that. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Also, to it, isn't there something about Rodney Kuth had sent me that email and I showed it to you about naming a street after Nolan? Yeah, the separate one. Well, so that's kind of tricky. Again, all of those things are things that are wow. not our Two purpose. years as council gets you a street. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we named the whole city. Yeah. 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 yeah, the two of you are going to get an interesting. Getting no disrespect, Councilor uh -huh. <laughs> I told Laura, I said, oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Well, anyway, I think then, since oh, we're all oh. <coughs> set for the October meeting, Laura, mm -hmm. did you want to discuss any upcoming information requests for future agenda? Sure, I think yes, that's a good idea. So we, we will still have November and December. Yeah, you know what I'd like to, because we have not had the new director coming in from um, Senior Center, the place is hopping down there. And she has like luncheons open now, and mm -hmm. Laura even orders from them. Right. And a lot of changes in there. It's, yes, big changes. And I think it would be an honor to have her come in and talk about all the new programs that she has mm -hmm. in there. I mean, do we want to try to, the only reason I would hesitate to do it on the October 7th meeting is if people do want to participate in the book signing event after, after our Oh yeah, get involved in that too. Yeah, she wants. Right. Yeah, and it'll be at the Senior Center. So, That's be there. so let's think about not in November yeah. for, you mm -hmm. know, we could put that out to Lynn. Yeah. And then we'll just have the December meeting yeah. before, um, we have, have a new committee on city services. Yes, I do. So, anyone else that you're thinking of for December? December? I 
find all the departments really interesting. Of course, since I don't know. <laughs> We'll want to talk about I'm trying to think who think about it and bring it up again at a department, like department, you know, like a thing that's going on. I mean, Marijuana there's always the city clerk yeah. coming to talk about election updates and processes and, you know, what's going on over there. I think um, she did that recently. Yeah, she gave us that, but now she comes to council to give us the update. Yeah, so. she does. And plus in the charter committee also, she has been there. Yeah, so it doesn't seem... Well, what we could do is think about it in the meantime, because we'll have still October and November to discuss it, because we're talking about a November senior services presentation. And then if in the meantime folks have any particular ideas between now and next month, I mean, uh, during the month. Terry Madison, maybe he could give us an update. Terry? about businesses in Northampton and so forth since there's so much going on in the papers and everything. Well, I'm not sure that that's within the purview of the city services department. Exactly. No, we'd actually have to ask the mayor. I mean, typically what happens is whichever department head we request, there's a specific request for us to ask what it is we would like to speak to them about. I would imagine there might be some concern with us speaking to, you know, pull it, asking in Terry Masterson. Maybe not, but my sense is that given the purview of this committee, mm -hmm. that's pretty know. well spelled out in the rules. I mean, it says that we deal with uh, public works, with Board of Public Health, with um, police, fire. Yeah. Um, I don't know that we deal with community and economic yeah. development it's a little more community, community resources. resources. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think so too. <clears throat> so, so, but we'll leave it up there in the air again. We don't need to decide right now because we have still October and November to decide, but we're going to ask, make another suggestion? Maybe police or something. Um, there been a lot in the paper with that. Um, I know we did hear from Jody Casper, I think a couple months ago, uh, especially with regard to NETA and mm -hmm. the, um, I remember, didn't we have Jody come in and speak to us in about the that? spring after like the hot chocolate, I remember what were the events she was talking about. Yeah, so yeah. In the early spring she came in. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, if, po if people are still interested, there's, I don't need that we need, know that we need to make that request right now for a mm -hmm. December, yeah. beginning of December meeting, but um, do you want to think about it and talk about it yes. more in October? Yes. Yeah, sure. That way we can put our heads together. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, then, um, no information request from, okay, that was what we just did. Is there a motion to adjourn? I would make a motion to adjourn. Moved and seconded to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.